Well, today on Nation, a window cleaners podcast, we're talking all about the upsell, how to upsell, how not to make it weird, how to increase your ticket, make more money, do more services, and lock down your customers even more. So stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. I hope you find the show exhilarating or at least better than listening to silence, which some of the shows are. But um, definitely, if you haven't not been, if, if you've listened to the show, if you're like experienced, if you're just an OG, what's up? Some of you went back and listened to everything. Some of you are caught up. Some of you are just... It's absolutely amazing. You guys make my absolute world. I've done this seven years and it's because of people like you. So many of you use me as just like your rep and the whole reason is is because I get to help you with this too. And so many people are like, dude, like, thank you for doing that. Dude, the content is like on point, man. I really appreciate it. And not every episode I know hits that, but when you guys say that, man, it really, it really makes my day. So thank you if you're an OG. But today, we're talking all about the upsell, and I'll start by saying that upselling is something that 100% of you, if you're watching the video, I just thumbs up on the screen, is, I, well, sorry, but upselling is, uh, could be better and could be done better by 100% of you, 100, guaranteed. And the reason is, is because in upselling, we forget we do other things, but that every person who's using us could use us for everything, right? Like if you go out there and you get a new window cleaning customer, sweet, guess what? They also have screens that could be cleaned. They also have gutters that could be cleaned if you do that. They also have house washing if you do that. They also do inside and outside or just outside or higher frequency. You can upsell and that doesn't make you sleazy. It doesn't make you scum of the earth. Upselling basically says, hey, Here's some other things that you probably need, want, or didn't know you needed. We also offer that. You like us, you trust us, you love us. We want to do those things for you too. And an upsell comes into everything. Even something as simple as, would you like fries with that? When that one line added to McDonald's, they started having everybody say that. And this is before the value meal days, right? Value meal gets you to make an order of everything because people used to go and just be like, I'll take a cheeseburger and a Coke. Would you like fries with that? Mm, Yeah, actually that added billions of dollars to their revenue by adding one line. And you're not going to increase your company by billions, but percentage wise, it will be incredibly noticeable if and when you can get to being good at upselling. And upselling is just explaining the services that are needed. That's literally sales. Like if you call me as a rep for windowcleaner.com and you're like, hey, what's water? tell me about water fed. Do you think I should get water fed? I absolutely will tell you 100% the truth. I love water fed. I would not be a window cleaner without it. But you don't need the $30,000 package. Like depending on what you need. Let me ask you a couple questions. I'll find out what's best for you. Like I'm going to tell you the answers without selling you anything. If you say, well, what should I get? This versus this, I'll tell you. And it's not just because one's expensive, one's cheap. There's a lot of lower price stuff that's better, but sales is explaining or teaching people things. It's it's people with questions that didn't even know they were questions getting those answered. Once everybody's happy and comfortable, then they can make the decision. And that is literally what upselling is. Because look at this. You do more than just window cleaning, I'm guessing. Even if it's just, no, no, we only do window cleaning. Okay, do you clean screens? Do you clean tracks? Do you do inside and do you do outside? Do you do inside and outside and outside? Like, there are a lot of other things. And I'm guaranteeing that you're not either letting people know or just doing it right. So that's what we're talking about, upselling. It increases your ticket. You're going to make more money, I promise you. Or I will give you your money back for the amount of money you paid for this free content. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> no, 
first off, you got to explain what is needed. Like, if you're at a job site, I always, our phone people, our in-person people, our techs, everything. You know that I do 100%. Let me rephrase that. 99.99% of all bids we do, 100% on the phone. 100% of 99, 100% of the time it works, 60% of the time. Or 60% of the time it works, 100% of the time. But we always will bring it up because I've said this quote a couple times, but I've done something before where I put out a survey to our customers. I said, hey, just I've listed 10 things. What, what, what services? Check all of them that you knew we did. And I thought, I was doing good. I mean, we put it in everything. We talked. We, Our average was like three things. Actually, I think it was two out of 10. I was blown away. I was like, how do you not know? You get a gutter cleaning insert every time. But people just don't know because it's not brought up. Like, did you know McDonald's serves spaghetti? Well, they don't. But you wouldn't know like unless you asked or you saw it in an ad or you whatever no one reads the entire menu that's why they bring stuff up they did this for a while too until they got you know told they were fattening america but after everybody would order to go would you like to supersize that yeah it was only 39 cents more right but do you remember when that all first came out that was another thing you just increase everything right so explain what's needed okay hey if it's a tech on the site, hey, we, we, we uh, are here. And just so you know, we walked around getting everything set up. And I noticed that your gutters are not running flow. I could see some growth in there. And, um, you know, I know you didn't have gutters done. We could do them because we're here. It would add X amount. Uh, did you want to do that? Or did you want to schedule these gutters to be clean the next time? Or like letting them know what's needed can be a way to upsell. Once you tell them what's needed, they then can go, oh, yeah. Or... I don't know how many times where we've done stuff. Go, hey, just so you know, we're setting everything up. I noticed those roofs. We did roof cleaning. Your roof's got a lot of those black lines. It's the type of algae that's on there. You don't need a new roof. Um, that has nothing to do with it. But I know that's a bit of an eyesore. You've probably seen that. We do roof cleaning. Now, I can't do it in this one because it's its own thing. But price-wise, you know, roof like that, you'd be at like $4.99. It'd be clean. Uh, it would look absolutely amazing um we'd be able to schedule you right in is do you want me to talk to the office get you scheduled to the appointment what are they gonna say no you know um uh, no yeah i think i'm okay okay cool great well we're gonna get started like the only thing that would be happen after that if they say no great you're still there doing services but the only things they could say yes then you're all of a sudden you know what yeah oh man would it would it take those off it would it would. Now, a damaged roof, if your shingles are peeling up or something, you can see that. But your shingles are still laying flat. Looks great. You'll get a heck of a lot more life out of it. And uh, it'll definitely look great in the neighborhood, you know. You can see a lot of your other neighbors have that. So yours will really stand out. It's just that simple. But you have to explain what is needed if you're on site. Bringing up what's there or what could be done is another big one that people don't necessarily do. Because, again, they don't know what they need. So in we're doing bidding in the very first part, somebody's calling and say, hey, my name is Mrs. Jones. I'm looking to get an estimate. Okay, cool. Let me give us a couple quick questions for you, blah, blah, blah. Here's your estimate. It's going to be 299 It's inside, outside, track, seals and frames, whole kit and caboodle. Uh, and we can put you in Tuesday the 7th at uh, between 9 and 10 in the morning. Does that work for you? Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, actually, I'll be home. Oh, perfect. Okay, great. We got you. You're all scheduled in. Uh, and just to ask, I know looking at these things, is there any other services that you are in need of? Anything you want us to do at the same time? If we pair things, you can save some money. But I see, you know, you could get gutter cleaning. I don't know when the last time you've had your gutters cleaned was. Uh, or the siding. If there's any type of allergy or dirt, we could also wash the entire house. Uh, you know, explain the services that you have, what they could need and why they could need it. And if at the end of the conversation they go, no, you know, I'm glad we're just windows for now, but thanks for letting Like, okay, great. I already got it planned. I'm already going there for windows. I'm already getting their money. I've already booked everything. It's all done. I didn't upsell before I booked, which then makes them want to think about everything. They already got the other appointments set, scheduled. It's a done deal. All you're doing is asking if they'd like fries with that. If you do... 
They go, oh, would you like fries with that? And they don't go, oh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to think about everything. I'm just going to yeah, take that cheeseburger off. Let me, let me think about it. I'll get back to you. It's, it's that simple when you do add-ons. But you have to explain what it is. And that's just one piece to the puzzle. Because, again, people don't listen. But having it priced right away allows them to not have to think about it. Right, so if you said uh, gutter cleaning, you look at the house, okay, and this could be your tech on site, it could be when you're doing your phone bid or whatever, like that size house, you know, but I'm not doing linear, I'm not going to measure. Like when you guys do such detailed bids, like the amount of time it takes for that just negated every extra penny you're gonna make, right? If I know I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, it's gonna take me an hour, okay, $2.99 for the gutters, right? Whatever that is. I'm going to say right on the phone with them. And uh, I see I have gutters. I don't know when the last time you had those cleaned were, but we can get them done at the same time. Uh, your house that size would be $2.99, but because we're pairing it with the windows, we could take another 50 bucks off because we'll already be there. Uh, we could get it done the same day. It'd be $2.49. Uh, it'd add a little bit of time to that, but uh, wouldn't change the appointment. Is that uh, something you'd want to do? Right? Putting it out there. There's no more questions. A sale happens, you know it's the right thing to do. Like if somebody's gutters are clogged and it's flowing back in their house and they're destroying everything, like there's no questions. Like, oh, did you want to get your gutters clean? Or are you good with just ruining everything? <laughs> you know the answer already. So you know that part's good. You just have to explain it to them. And that's what sales is. You're just explaining it to them. But now I'm going to give them everything they need to know. So I have one Yes or no. And even at that, I word it in a way that I don't invoke a yes or no. Because a no is a done, a yes is a go, right? When I do an assumptive close, when people are like, I do bid phone, I do this, and a lot of people, I don't really schedule as many people. Like I, it's the way you're asking the confidence. If I say to somebody, Okay, great. So here's your price, blah, blah, blah. I'll give you all the information. It's everything you need. Um, we could get you done on the 6th, and that would be between 9 and 10 in the morning, or I could do you on Wednesday the 7th, uh, and that appointment would actually be between 1 and 2. Uh, which one did you want to do, Wednesday or Thursday? They're not going to say no, because that is human conversation. You didn't ask a yes or no question. They're going to pick one of those. It helps them decide as opposed to putting up the barrier of no. A lot of people say no, because it stops the conversation. Right? Ah, I'm not interested. Like, how many times does somebody walk up to your mom? Hey, sir, do you have it? No, I'm not interested. You're not interested in what? You, they didn't tell you anything, right? It's a defense mechanism. So asking a no or yes question is not, I want to get an answer. It's giving them the opportunity to be in their comfort zone of no. So asking a certain way. But pricing it right away, I give them everything they need to know. And I can have it paired on the same day. We'll still be there on the 6th. Even in the ask of an upsell, I normally will not say, did you want to do that? Invoking a yes or no. But what I'd say is, oh, and I saw you had the gutters, you know, blah, blah, blah. Or if we're there or whatever. Uh, it would be, you know, $299. Because we're there, it'd actually be $249. And we could add it to the same day. It would just make the appointment a little bit longer. Same start time. You're listening to this. We're not even having a conversation. And that awkward pause was just that. It was awkward. You, in human conversation, if I pause, you want to fill it. Right? So by saying that, I didn't say yes or no. I didn't ask yes or no. I just left it out that way. They now have to go in and evaluate a response. Right? It's all in the idea of how you do it. And this is not a manipulation thing. This is just a human nature thing. This is how people talk or do or whatever. It's just how it is. If you've talked to me and you're asking me a bunch of questions, I'll ask at the end, like, cool, did you want me to get it ordered up for you now? It's a yes or no question, but it's an ask. It's there. Right? If you're like, no, you know, I still got some reasons. Cool. Well, let me know, man. I'll reach back out in like a day. We'll see if you've got any other questions. Here's my number. Like, it's cool. That could be an answer. But I want to help you make the decision. I know it's the perfect decision for you. I agree. I think you should go that way. 
It's not me being manipulative. That's just me knowing what I know. You know what you know. So pricing right away eliminates the thought. Eliminates the thought. Speaking of eliminating the thought, huh? Huh? Look at that segue. Kind of doesn't have any, make any sense, but it was a good segue. I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com. It's what I do literally, and you're listening to this. The you know thousands of people a week that are either listening or watching or something. If you get any content out of this, or if you're like, ah, he's he's not easy on the eyes. He's more has a uh, face for radio, and you just want to help out the cause. Please let me be your rep. It costs you nothing extra. And all you have to do is just text me or call me. I'm going to give you the number. Take it down. Tell me when you're ready. Ready? Okay. It's 862-312-2026. And my name is Jersey, like the state. Costs you nothing extra to have somebody you can ask questions for. And I would love to put your order in everything from like, hey, it's all in my cart. I clicked save this cart. I can put it in. I just verify your address, take a card number. We save that on file uh, too. So next time, a lot of times people do that, especially you OGs who do this, have done this for a while. But like, sweet man, I'll send it to one, two, three. Thank you. Send it off that easy. Or you could be like, yo, I need a 12 pack of Master Rubber. I need a uh, blah. Like, just tell me the stuff. I'll put it all together for you. You don't even have to do the shopping. I'll tell you the total. Let you know and put it in so do that obviously i would love the opportunity to make money doing that because that's you know that's how i exist in this world that's how i you know how i, how I buy my hair gel and um my beard trimmer somebody's mentioned too so all the weird things but anyway another thing i have is the american window cleaner magazine this magazine has been around since 1986 Started as like a newsletter, went out every uh, two months and kind of changed. I purchased this now like two years ago, three years ago, gosh. It's now a monthly magazine and it is full color. It is amazing. It's all about window cleaning. Everything in that is about window cleaning. The pictures, the articles, the knowledge, the products, the ads even. I love ads because I get to see some stuff that comes out. Amazing advertisers in the magazine. Just an amazing thing for our industry i think so go and get it it also comes to your door every month with a sticker sheet and every month the sticker sheet's different it is a lot of work making stickers so if you have sticker ideas send them over let me know but more importantly get the subscription it's only 69 dollars. go to awcmag.com get a subscription and i will stop asking you for it plus it's cool to have because then your friends will be like oh you're a window cleaner and then they see you have a magazine they're like there's a magazine for window cleaning, and then the week that this is coming out is actually the huge convention, and they're like, there's a convention for window cleaning, and then they realize it's a real industry, and yeah, that's why you're awesome. Okay, anyway, shameless plug. I gotta do the shameless plug. So many of you finally like registers about the shameless plug, and then you have me put your orders, and it makes me happy. So thank you for that. Okay, back to upselling. One of the things you guys aren't doing and I say this because I didn't do this for a very, very long time, is saving the pricing for that too. So however you work it out when a tech shows up to the job, we have something that uh, is a binder, has a bunch of stuff, and one of them is where they like kind of clock in and out of each job so I can see the times and reference that with the dollar and see where we're at, right? With that, they also write down, record any of the upsells that they're thinking, right? Gutters, G-299, right? HW for house wash, 499 Whatever those prices are, they put them on there. So not only are they going to talk to the customer, but when that comes back to the office, I can put all of that into my CRM. So the next time, again, I hope you're doing the dentist close, having them reschedule at the time of service right then for the next six months. But every time I call, even if I'm just verifying, like, hey, just wanted to call you, let you know your appointments this Thursday is going to be between blah, blah, blah. Oh, yes, thank you so much. Okay, great. And just, you know, last time we were there, our techs noticed that, you know, uh, your gutters could use to be cleaned and your house could be washed and uh, pricing would be this for gutters and this for this. And I just wanted to see if you wanted to add any of those services on the same appointment. Now, when some of you are so worried about the timing of the day, like if they add something big, I get that. 
But on the same side is that there's some slosh room in the starts and lows time. You can also do reschedules and things like that if you need to. But I will always ask. Oh, yeah, no, no, let's do the Windows for Okay, perfect. When the tech goes, guess what? On the sheet, it's all printed there. Do you see the pricing? When they go and talk, oh, great, okay. And just to let you know, we do the gutter cleaning, house washing. You know, they already told you the prices on there too. If you want to do, say, house washing, we always say to do the windows after the house wash in the same appointment. So on the next cleaning, uh, which would be in six months, did you want to do the house wash with that? Like, you always can ask. And when you're thinking in your head, well, wow, this guy really is a pain. No, 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 no. That's one question if they go, no, yeah, I let them know the office. I'm not really looking to do that right now. Oh, awesome. Okay, well, we're going to go start. You don't have to push. You just ask the question. Ah, do you like baseball? God, this guy won't stop about baseball. No, I don't like baseball. If I stop, I go, oh, you should like baseball. Baseball is so great. You got to buy baseball, baseball, baseball. That's annoying. But if I go, do you like baseball? You're like, no, I'm not really into baseball. Like, ah, okay. That's not annoying. I just asked a question, right? Upsells are the same thing. So many people are so worried about being annoying that they forget that the customer has had, since you asked a week ago when you were just confirming the appointment, they've had a week worth of conversations. They forgot you asked. It's one question. But you have to put it out there. If you save pricing, then you have that. You have that pricing so that now you're on the same page down the road. If the pricing changes or something else, they can note it in the count. They can still bid it. You can see where it is. Always update that in your CRM. You have that information. So many people who do offer upsells, they don't give a price. They're like, oh, did you need any gutters cleaned? No. Ow. Another thumbs. They say no just because they don't know enough. Like It's like, ah, oh, there's way more questions I should be asking, but let's just go with it, right? having it all out there. You're gonna do it, just save it. Save it and now the office knows. The office knows how many windows there are and blah, blah, blah. Like the office can be the first time for your upsells, the first time for your repeats, right? It's all about touches. The office touches you, the text touch you, the follow-up touches you, the mailings touch you, the emails touch you. All of those things touch you so that you remember us, you know us, you do us, you choose us, you love us. That's where you're going with all of this. And remember, if you're doing any type of upselling in general, if I'm there, I can save you some money. I am not the guy who changes pricing. I get that asked a lot where people are like, well, I bid it at my normal price for this, and they said they 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 didn't want to do it. They said we were way too high. The other guy was half the price. What should I do? You should say, oh well, I, uh, yeah, I apologize to hear, but if something doesn't work out for them, please let me know. I'd love to have that. Sell them the value. Don't change the price, right? Value over price. Somebody will always be cheaper than you. Because somebody is always not offering what you offer. There's always going to be somebody who's starting up who doesn't listen to WCR Nation or doesn't agree with me, which you don't have to. I'm just some dummy. But all of that, and they're still going to come in and like, oh, I'll do your windows for 100 bucks, And then they realize they can't do it again for 100 bucks, And it should have been $300, like your bid. And the next time they don't answer the phone. So if somebody goes, oh, well, last time they said they'd charge me, you know, $100 and you're $300. Can you match the price? No, sorry, I can't. In my head, I'm like, if I could, I would have said that in the first place. But if the other company was 100 bucks, you're calling me for a reason. Either they sucked and you got your money's worth, or they didn't answer their phone because you didn't pay them enough. You're not going to get everybody, right? But pairing a service, drive time's there. I got the ladders. They're here. If I pair it with the next one, don't worry. I just make the little, I don't have to drive out there. It doesn't have to be this whole thing. Think about if you have a service and let's say it's a 30 minute drive, you got two techs, 30 minute drive is two wasted hours. 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back, each tech, two techs, two hours. That means I have to charge you more to cover the two hours that I could have been cleaning. But if I don't have the drive time because I'm pairing, guess what? I don't have that. 
That other stuff's already worked into the entire job, so this one's just adding it on. Now I can charge you a little bit less. I'm not devaluing it. I'm just being able to pair services. Pairing services is a little boost sometimes. People say, oh yeah, let's do it both together. We are an exterior cleaning company. We do everything from top to bottom. You want it all done? Great, we'll do it at one appointment. When we leave, the whole property is fantastic. Right? Pairing can save money. Saving money can be a little bit of a boost. Not that you're trying to match pricing, but it's just one other reason, right? Like, uh, yeah, um, actually, uh, they just need one more push. Well, and if we pair services too, we'll take another 50 bucks off of that. So it actually save money by doing them at the same time. It's better for us, you know, we're already there. Yeah, let's, the, the push is to help them, right? When somebody says yes, you have to have all of these boxes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You are not in the market for a Lamborghini, but if I came to you with a Lamborghini right now, and I was like, hey, here's a blah, 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 and I gave you all uh, the stuff, and I gave you a, a crazy good price, I gave you the value, I explained everything, I could make you kind of buy a, a Lamborghini if it came in right. Maybe that's a stretch, because it's in such a far thing, but you know what I'm saying. You're helping them understand what and where they can do right? And the final biggest thing that you, your office, if you have admins, your techs, your everything is ask. The biggest reason that you do not have more upsells is because you do not ask the right way with enough confidence or enough. It's just ask. Would you like fries with that? That one little line that no one in 50 years before that asked changed a company by billions of dollars. Now, you're not McDonald's. I know that, you know that. But what would it do to your company if you just asked? If you just put it out there as a priority on top of it? I talk about it all the time, but people are so worried about the sexy. I gotta get a new customer. Cool, we did this one, let's go find another customer. But they miss the real strength, the bread and butter. The existing customer, the existing upsells, the things they need, they like you, they love you, they rescheduled because you're that awesome, guess what? We also do these other things. You know how you like us before? We can really get you to like us. Yeah, absolutely. Because if I didn't call you, I'd have to get somebody. Oh, the wife doesn't want me on the ladder to do the gutters anyway. Asking will change everything. It's so shocking how much people, they just don't ask. They don't ever ask, which doesn't ever invoke the part of your brain that understands you could be buying something. Like, there's so many times where people just, they just... They, they get a bunch of information from you. We have all these services. But their brain says, you've told me knowledge, but doesn't understand, I could buy that. And then when you finally ask and say, oh, did you want to go ahead and do those gutters? You know, get those done? We can do them on the same day. Now all of a sudden, instead of going, oh yeah, you told me the information about my gutters. Now it's about, oh, I could buy gutters. So literally you're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, actually I'll, yeah, we, just the simple part of asking will change your entire universe. So do that. Shameless plug. Again, I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com. It's what I do for a living. I also do this, the magazine, and a bunch of other stuff. But I do this. And putting in orders, for me, is how I make a living. It is how I buy name brand trash bags you know the kind with like the the red little tie yeah every now and then i splurge and it's because of you who let me put your orders in so let me put your orders in my number is 862-312-2026 i've said this if you listened i've said that line hundreds of times over seven years and there's some people who don't use me still they put it in their own order well i don't want to bug them it's a small order do you think that me 
getting paid is a bug for me at all? No. Like if you text me on a Saturday or Sunday, we don't ship on a Saturday or Sunday. I do work Sunday nights, you probably hear from me. But, uh, you know, the order still goes in. It still locks it in too. If there's a sale and you think you're going to miss it, if you texted me, you're going to get the sale. Even if I don't get back to you until the day after the sale ends, it's still yours. That's what I do. But please, let me put your orders. Big or small, it doesn't matter. I love them all. Mm, unfortunately, that rhymed. Didn't mean to. Uh, and also, I think the AWC magazine is phenomenal. I do. I liked it before I bought the magazine. I like it even better now. I like everything about it. The 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 team that puts this together is phenomenal. The new layout guy too. Ah, so good. And if you've seen the stickers everywhere, buckets on a belt, buckets, trucks, everything, window cleaning stickers, you're like, who? Where are you getting window cleaning stickers? It's all from the magazine. It's awcmag.com. Go get us some trips for $69. You can do it right now while you're on the job site. AWCMAG. Just go there. Get it. Be amazing. Go out there and ask for the upsell. Upsell your hearts out. But more importantly, go out there and be epic.